नमस्कार ग्रीटिंग फ्रॉम समीर मलिक हाटकिया फाउंडेशन फंड आई एम डॉक्टर के के अग्रवाल प्रेसिडेंट हाटकिया फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड ग्रुप एडिटर इन चीफ मेट टॉक्स आई हैव विद मी एस सी जैन सिक्सटी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड मेल विद रोमैटिक हार्ट डिसीज विद एट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे इज हाउ कॉमन इज एट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन इन अंडरलाइंग रोमैटिक हार्ट डिसीज एट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन इज क्वाइट प्रोमिनेंट इन पेशेंट्स विद रोमैटिक हार्ट डिसीज and the literature shows in presence of mitral stenosis mitral regurgitation and tricuspid regurgitation it is present in 70% of the cases as in this case he has both ms and mr and tr if a patient has only mitral stenosis and mitral regurgitation it is present in 52% of cases in isolated mitral stenosis it is present in 29% of cases and isolated mitral regurgitation 16% of cases atrial fibrillation means either the left atrium is under pressure like mitral stenosis or there is volume overload which is mitral regurgitation or aortic regurgitation so if there is both pressure overload and volume overload the chances are more than 52 between 50 to 70% and the third is when atrial muscle is itself into a stretch like an atrial infarct or atrial electrolyte abnormality so therefore volume overload and pressure overload are the two most common causes of atrial fibrillation therefore if the pressure overload is there as in mitral stenosis chances of atrial fibrillation are higher thank you